hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to be doing this fierce rubber band up too so if you want to know how i achieved this look then keep on watching so first things i'm just gonna go ahead and divide my hair into two so i can work in the back first so i have the one in front just tied up so i'm splitting the hair in the back into two parts which was not easy doing it by myself because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and tie the one on that side away and then we're going to work on this side first. So I'm putting my hair. Again, you probably need to find a way in which you can see the back. I didn't put that in consideration, but yeah. So I'm just putting that and I was just guessing with my hands. And I'm just going to go ahead and use some gel. I didn't show here, but I did use gel and a brush and I'm just gonna tie that and make sure that you're not tying it too much because you don't want to have a headache so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the hair as you can see okay and that's the back it's done and it's raggedy but it's okay <laughs> we'll make it work uh, so in front at least I can see okay now I can see and I can use a mirror but anyways, so I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair. I'm going to part my hair into three parts. I'll have three braids going down, one in the center and two on the side. So we're just going to put the hair that I'm not working on away and then just like I did in the back I'm patting my hair using some gel to lay my hair and brush and then I'm just going to use a rubber band to tie that hair Then something different I did in front is that before I tied this hair with the next one, I twisted it. That way it gives that smooth um, look to it since my hair is like kinky, <laughs> you know. So we're just going to go ahead and do that and then tie it with the other one. And then I'm going to do that with the rest of the hair. And you guys can just watch and learn. And then after I'm done, I'm just going to tie everything with the hair tie. And then after that, I just went ahead and put gel on the edge on my edges. And then just combed it out a little bit. And I'm trying to have some, some baby hair <laughs> that I don't have. But we're going to create some. I'm just going to go ahead and tie that with a scarf. A silk scarf. And I think I had this for about 10-15 minutes. And then using two parts of the hair that I don't remember. I've had this for a long time, guys. But you can use any kind of hair that uh, matches your hair perfectly. Or whatever style you're going for, just use whatever hair you like. So I'm just, I used two parts because I really wanted it to be a really big bun. So yeah. And my battery ended up dying. But all I did here was secure that bun bobby pins easy and then just make it you know fit okay guys so this is the finished look I think this style would be so perfect for an elegant event you know even a wedding I can see this with like a beautiful wedding gown or any gown any event and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe 
and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.